So, have you ever been in one of those moods where you're like, I'm so upset and I just need to do something productive to get my mind off of things because that's where I am currently right now. Um, so, hello, hi. I also changed my hair color. Um, totally forgot that I didn't show it on YouTube yet. I've been in Seattle and Portland, had so much fun there. I also cut my hair, uh, but now I am back and we're gonna do a video on the new shocking <laughs> ColourPop collection. Let me grab it. So it is their new Flutter By collection. There is one eyeshadow palette, one luxe lipstick set, a brand new Pixie Puff highlighter, which is like a body highlighter. Um, I'm pretty sure Victoria's Secret <laughs> used to sell these back in the day with like the powder puff and you're like, <sighs> So that's why I have a tank top on today and not a vintage t-shirt. I know. We have some Jelly Much eyeshadows as well as four new Super Shock eyeshadows. I'm so sorry I don't have that much information about this collection because it hasn't been announced as I'm filming this uh, video, but I'm sure that it will be announced soon. Um, obviously I wouldn't upload it without ColourPop announcing it first. So let's just jump into it and we're gonna play with the eyeshadow palette, Super Shock shadows, Jelly Much shadows, and the Luxe lipsticks. Kind of go from there, figure everything out. I swear they are, I remember they had a butterfly collection already. Very different to this. So this is the Flutter By collection, not butterfly. I switched out lenses too, to a closer one, so we can get a little bit closer. I've been liking, oh my god, there's no mirror in this. And I just raised it up to my eyes if there was. I've been liking setting my eyeshadow primer with a translucent powder. I know I always used to do that, then I switched and was like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. Now here I am, I'm back to doing it. Uh, one day I'll make up my mind, but that is not today. So I'm just using the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. I love, love, love this eyeshadow primer. I use it all the time. Okay, my eyes are primed, prim, and proper. Normally I say set with matte powder of your choice, but today I'm just setting with translucent powder because I feel like this already has um, a tint to it. Also, don't you love that I just have a different spot each time I film? I do. This palette, let's look at it, let's get into it, is pretty mauve toned. Not a lot of color. There is a pressed glitter in here, which I'm not gonna go into because that's all I feel like I do is complain about pressed glitters. So for this, I think I'm gonna try and just build up, wow, they have a shadow named Lush. How did they get away with that? I guess it's just a word, it's fine. Anyways, gonna build up and then I think I wanna do like, there's a super shock shadow that is vivid purple. I think that would look so cool on the inner corner. Ooh, let's see what the Jelly Mutt shadows are. I just totally annihilated this beautiful packaging. <gasps> Stop. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay, wow. <laughs> Ooh, this one's like a mauve as well. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, so we have some options here. I know I like to try and use as many shades as possible when creating a look out of a play date with a collection. I like to try and use as many products as possible. I will of course do lip swatches. Let's start with Wild Wings. Reminds me of Bubble <laughs> Wild Wings. Why am I this way? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna start by slowly building this into the crease. I find that with mauve shades, they can kind of get out of control quickly if they lean a little gray. So I'm just going to slowly build this into the crease. Ooh, maybe I'll do like a smoked out liner today. I think that would be pretty. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now that I have that color laid down, I'm gonna just start diffusing this out. This palette kind of matches my hair. My God, thank you, ColourPop. It was so nice of you to launch this collection to match my hair. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm just gonna take the same brush and the shade Made to Last. I can't believe I just compared an eyeshadow to Buffalo Wild Wings, as if I've ever been there. Um, maybe I should've put this shade on first. Oops, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We will just go from here and hope for the best. Do you ever just panic do things? Like, I just panic blend it. I was like, oh no. I panic do everything. 
I'm just taking a clean brush to just diffuse this color out on the same brush, just not dirty. Ch -ch Changes is apparently not ice safe, which I don't know why that would be. Maybe it's because of the red in it. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to put it on my eye anyways, so if you have sensitive eyes, just be aware of that. Same with the shade Overpacked is not eye safe. So I'm focusing this a lot more on the outer corner. This shade is a, just a touch more when you dip into the pan. It just kicks up or kicks back a little bit, uh, depending on the terminology you like. Doesn't bother me too much, just so you know. But it's always something I like to mention, just in case. So I want to make sure that I'm getting some variance in the tones. So I'm starting to pack the chit chit changes onto the lid in the outer crease and then blending because I think that'll give me a little bit more payoff. So really just stamping that in the crease and then going in to diffuse everything, picking up a little bit more of Wild Wing. Oh, I might do a cute extended inner corner moment. I've been loving that recently. On top of the purple, that would be so so pretty i had so much fun in seattle and so much fun in portland um it was nice to get a little bit of fall weather going on because i feel like in la it's not quite fall yet what was that lindsay lohan movie where she sang that song Ch -ch changes remember do you remember i was obsessed with that movie oh my god if that's on disney plus i'm getting disney plus just for that movie now on the outer portion of the eye i'm taking angel bb and i just want to do a winged out liner here but also smoke it out as well so it's like diffused a little but we still are getting that shape i need a pencil brush to just diffuse that out i kind of like keeping that just a little bit soft onto the outer portion maybe i'll take just a little bit bigger of a blending brush oh actually this brush is going to be perfect I had a way cooler uh, vision in my head that is just not being replicated. Okay, I'm going to just run over that liner kind of one last time to get the shape. And then I can always clean it up a little bit later down the road. But I just want a little smokiness right there. Um, on to the lid. Let's talk about that real quick. I think I'm going to take the shade Bouquet, which is a Jelly Mud Shadow. Oh, wow, this shade is so pretty. Do you see that? Mm. I need to clean this up to make sure that I know it will look okay. That makes sense, because if not, it's going to be a sad day. <laughs> oh, yes. In order to use a bunch of shades, I think I'm just going to place this in the very center and then um, work to diffuse this into some other shades. Wow, that is... Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, and then on the other side, oh boy, what do I want to do? Let me swatch and kind of see. There's that, there's this one, hmm, that's like a pewter shade. There's that shade that's like a map that has some flecks of glitter in it, which I'm, <laughs> no. And then there's the shade Cottafly. Ooh, that on the outer portion, I think. Could be legitimous. So let's take Cottafly. I'm gonna use a pencil brush and just work that into the other shade. It's okay if I get some fallout going on, which I feel like happens when you kind of pat on a shimmer shade with a pencil brush, like an idiot like me. <laughs> I wanted it to, gosh darn it, I should have just used a flat brush or my finger. This is all a learning process, you know? Definitely think you would need to wet this shade for because it's not the most self-adhering. So I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray and pick up Gotta Fly and see if the setting spray helps get it to stick down. Um, yeah, a little. I wonder if it's me just setting the primer when I shouldn't have. That could also be. On the inner portion, I'm taking that pewter shade, Getaway, to kind of make like a little sandwich of all the shades. And then I want to go back into Bouquet, because I'm going to be that person that just needs a little, a little, 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 little more. Oh god, that shade is just so glorious. Okay. This footage suddenly got really dark, and I haven't changed anything, so love that for me. That's a little bit better. Okay, I went ahead and applied concealer under my eyes and around my problem areas. Now my spot is concealed and I feel a little bit better. I wanna take, this packaging is 
so beautiful by the way this is ringlet uh the super shock shadow and i think this would look bomb on the inner corner so that's why am i tapping off the excess okay it's pretty much a cream oh i forgot to do my lower lash line i was just so excited about this oh my god okay 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 this shade is everything i wanted Oh no, I got it on. <laughs> Honestly, I might leave the lower lash line a little bare, you know? Maybe just put like one shade here or there when she wants a touch more glitter. I'm gonna take the shade Buttercup. This is one of the Jelly Much. And I'm just gonna pop that on top because this seems like a topper shade, in my opinion. So I'm taking a really small baby brush. I just want the... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. On the lower lash line, I really only want to take like one or two shades, so I'm gonna take Buffalo Wild Wing. I've been watching a lot of videos from Snitchery. Um, I just became obsessed with her videos, and she has this really cool technique where she like defines her uh, eye bag, which suddenly here I am defining my eye bag. And I think it just looks really cool on her. But I feel like this look you need, why did it go dark again? I think this look just needs like a little baby something on the under eye. I want to move on to the lips, but in order to do that, I need to do some lashes, mascara, uh, cheek products, and then we can move on. Okay, moving on to the Lux lipstick set. So there are five shades in here. And wow, a lot of glitter just flew everywhere. We have five shades, so I'm going to swatch all of them. And then I will go ahead and choose a lip for this look. Um, I would love a cute little mauve moment, but we will see. First shade up is called Boom to Boom, and it is a velvet blur. Whoa, what is velvet blur? Do I not know about these? Or do I know about these and I'm just forgetting? Okay, anyways, let's swatch. Okay, so I actually decided against doing my hair because I feel like the sleek ponytail with the little pieces looks kind of cute. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the collection. My favorites from the collection were definitely the Super Shock and the Jelly Much and the lipsticks. Those are what I would personally recommend from the collection. Specifically, Ringlet is what I have on my inner corner amazing. The Jelly Mud shadows are really awesome. Um, the Velvet Blur lipsticks I actually really love. Love the colors, love the formula, um, and love the payoff. I would say if you're someone that needs to exfoliate your lips like I should have done before doing lip swatches, um, it will kind of pick up on those dry spots and emphasize it. But the lip itself feels really weightless and it's rather easy to apply. So I really did like that. Um, the eyeshadow palette didn't wow me. I feel like it was missing a little bit of depth in there. Um, maybe because I put the Jelly Mud shadow and then the Super Shock shadow, I'm kind of like, oh my god, I love it. Uh, this eye look, but I feel like the eyeshadow palette itself didn't have a lot of depth. But definitely uh, check out the Super Shock Shadows, the Jelly Much, and the Velvet Blur lipsticks. I hope that helped you figure out and navigate this collection. If you have any other questions or any other video requests, please leave them down below in the comment section, and I will see you next time. Bye!